my loves your girl, Miss Melly XX. So here, I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning. Get your money started. I know money is typically hard, but we can do this. We're gonna make it through. Make it through this week. Make it to last. We're gonna make it through this week. So I'm talking about um a Uber drive, another Uber drive store. Now, in a previous video, I told you about the the rude Uber drive store. Now I'm gonna tell you more about a better Uber drive store. So as so this is this actually the beginning of. Um, the other Uber drive, drive store. When I told you I was going to Walmart, yes, I said again, yes, I'm a Walmart girl. Miss Melody always gonna be a Walmart girl, no matter how much money you get. I'm gonna just be a Walmart girl because I just love me some Walmart. Okay, so um, I had um, request my Uber from the house, and I was getting my Uber to go to Walmart. And um, let's just call this person. I call the last person Greg because they were just rude, and that, I don't know. I just want to call Greg. But this, let's call this one X. So, um, X, so I ordered the Uber. Now, mind you, you know, when you, when you order Uber, um, the person has a picture. So when I ordered Uber picture, I was like, oh, oh, he look kind of, he give me like a little zaddy vibes, a little cute vibes, and ooh, okay. Mm, and y'all, and he was like, chop. He was like, caramel, because anybody know me, I love caramel or chocolate. Anybody know me? Nothing because light skin, I have that light skin, but I love Mr. Caramel, it's chocolate. So when I got a car, he was like, he was like, yeah. He was like, hello, y'all, yeah, all right. Um, and I was, and I asked him, I said, okay, um, how's your day, how's, is your, is your day going all right? He's like, yeah, he was like, yeah, my day's going all right. I said, oh, it is? Okay. I was like, well, um, how, when did you get your day started? He was like, well, I'm just getting my day started, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, I'm just all about alcohol. I was like, oh, okay, okay. Well, that's good. And, um, I was like, yeah, uh, I'm just here to pick up a couple of items from Walmart, you know, this morning. And he was like, oh, well, you had it right time, you know what I'm saying? You know, it's Sunday football, you know what I'm saying? You know, you got to get everything started, you know, you had a good time. I was like, oh, yeah, thank you. I'm glad I did hit it at the same time. So we just kept talking, and um, he was just so cool, calm, and collected. And, um, and oh, he was just so sexy. Oh, oh, goodness. I was just lost up with the job. I was just, I was just thinking about shit to say. I was still giving me stuff to say. Because he was just, ooh, so sexy. And he was giving me Zaddy vibes. So we just talked, and then he was talking about, yeah, I'm going to watch the football, and I'm saying, you know, I love, you know, um, watch the football. And, yeah, I'm just going to go home and chill. I was like, oh, you just going to go home and chill? Oh, really? You just going to go home and chill? And he was just so, so comfortable. And so then he, he we made it to the, to the Walmart go to. He's like, well, you have a nice day. I was like, oh, you have a nice day, too. And like I said, it was just so comfortable because when I said he was so freaking sexy i was giving my life out for just talking to him and then he had like the thing about him is see anybody knows me i love a guy that's that's you can tell they got a little a little hood that's about that but they still um they're still a nice person look like and, and they still have like a like a a nice aura and a nice vibe um it was just so nice and me and you know a lot of times when it comes to getting the uber and being um you know, gay or transgender, there's so much transphobia, homophobia out there. It's just nice sometimes to to get people, especially when it comes to a um a black man, to be so nice. Um, and the thing about it, a lot of people are gonna try to say, oh, I was hitting on him. He was being straight, straighter. He was being, he's gay. Probably he's down. The thing about it is, I hate when people say that because there are so many guys who are black men who are just confident in their sexuality and are comfortable to talk to a gay person or a transgender person. Um, that doesn't make them gay. That's 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 just them being comfortable in sexuality. Because honestly, a lot of these guys out here who I get in the Uber with, who 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 have their own agenda, who are mean, who are, who are, who are just you know rude and stuff like that. A lot of them are bisexual, gay on the low, and they just can't handle that walking the truth. But it was just so good to see Daddy X. That was so good. So, girl, girl, but he did give me a little bit of straight vibe. But let me say something. Girl, whoever his girlfriend is, girl, I bet he put that pipe on you real, real nice. Ooh, because X was giving me life, life, life. All right, you guys. I didn't really I didn't really have nothing to say about the story. I just want to talk about Miss X. Miss X was so sexy. Ooh, like to play. You bringing sexy back. <laughs> I just want to give you guys a laugh. My loves, have a beautiful, wonderful, and blessed day. Get your money started off right. Keep it cute, sweet, and clean. Bye.